Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, fine, fine. Great, nice to hear that. Are we ready? Are we ready? Good evening, good evening. How are you? How is my baby crying? <laughs> really? Yes. That's sad. Why did you cry? All right, today is Monday, the 4th, the 4th of December. We have our class number 16. I hope you're fine. I hope you are okay. I hope you can be, yeah, concentrated, participating in everything regarding this conference this video conference this is our number 16 video conference so we're just missing the this week actually okay last week you have to finish the unit three and the homework and assignments from unit three on the platform i hope you have finished you are done with that so that we are on time a uh, couple of things I have to remind you of first of all. Let me see. <clears throat> I hope you get your manual ready as well. So you can be following the lessons that we are studying. And according to the manual, we are going to start unit four today. Okay, have you checked unit four? Have you gotten an idea of what Unit 4 is going to be about? Any idea? Not yet? Nothing? All right. So, I think something everybody loves, everybody likes to do. So, we're going to be talking about traveling. In the spray, hopefully we have the chance. I'm sorry, and I apologize about my neighbor's dogs. Sometimes they are just terrible. But anyways, we're going to try to do our best, okay? So, yes, good evening, good evening on the chat, David and Brian, say good evening. Maybe we can have some other people saying good evening in the chat as well. You see? Other people, report yourself. Okay, Laura, good evening. Almost Christmas time. Are you ready for Christmas? Almost, almost. Okay. Well, let's share the information we usually do at the beginning of the session. But as I was mentioning, yes, this is our session number 16. I get some allergies on my face. All right. Somebody else says good evening. Yes, Miguel Angel and Elvin. Good evening. Good evening. Well, our reminders, our usual reminders, okay? To be fully connected, to have full attendance, to be the two hours of the session, which is also important, okay? 
and participation. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We got the functions on the <clears throat> on the Zoom platform, which are also very important. Okay. The final exam for this week. Unit three, unit four, and the final exam. For those who haven't finished unit three yet, you gotta work. Work on the unit three as soon as possible. And unit four all this week. Probably while we are in the sessions, you also have some little time, some little spaces to work on the exercises you can take advantage. That would be nice. And as I mentioned at the beginning, at the end of this at the end of this session, participants will be able to request information about travel services, accommodations, and related to business trips. Okay. So anything else? We are going to take the attendance before anything else happens. Okay, I'm sorry, my apologies for today's uh, starting the class a little bit late because of the platform was giving some issues. Zoom was not getting connected. Zoom. <laughs> All right, Zoom. Zoom. Anna Cristina. Ana Cristina, say present or right on the chat. Brian. Brian, Brian. Hi. I'm just taking the attendance for the ones that haven't realized yet. David Miguel. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Deborah Beatriz. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Doris Elizabeth. Not here. <coughs> Elvin Gabriel. Present, Miss. Hello, good evening. Gracias, Marisol. Present, good evening. Hello, oh, good evening. Hector Manuel. Miss and, and Brian say hello at the chat. Oh, true. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm always sick. No, no, I've been suffering from this uh, sore throat for almost two weeks now. Yeah, I sound sick, I know. And I've been with something, but I'm still here. I'm still um, waiting to finish this course. So hopefully. <laughs> F4U. And for you too, because you're not answering. <laughs> Hector said he's sick too. Imelda. Imelda, Imelda. Ivan. Ivan Arnoldo. Not here. Joanna. Joanna de la Paz, she's not here. Jocelyn. Present. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Karen. She's not here either. Okay. Laura. Laura, Laura. Present. Okay. Thank you, Laura. 
María Irma. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Nelson. Present teacher. Hello, still sick. <laughs> yes. Paula, Natalia. Present teacher. Hello. Ricardo. Present teacher. Hello. Wendy. Present teacher. Hello. Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello. Hi. Well, as I was saying, yes, we're going to get started with the new unit, unit four. Okay. Yes, my name. Tell me. Teacher. Le quería comentar, el sábado me llamaron porque me dijeron que no había estado presente en la clase del viernes, pero sí me presenté. Really? Sí. <risa> Se debe de <equivocar. risa> Me imagino que sí. Uh -huh. Igual ya no nos dejan editar el, el, el online Excel, sino que solo es como... Cuando se escucha el pie, se ven más de las personas. Se escucha muy fuerte los ladridos de ese perrito. Me pareció raro, pero igual pensé que se había equivocado también. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Permítame, voy a cerrar la, la window que está. No hay word, es so inconsistente. Okay, so at the end of this session, participants will be able to request information about travel, travel services, accommodations, and related to business, and so on. So, travel plans. <laughs> Wait a second. So vocabulary we're going to be practicing is reservation, travel agency, amenities, shuttle services, and business trip. Some of the big vocabulary we're going to be using. Okay, here we have a very small conversation. Yes, hello, Manuel. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Natalia. Sure, ask me. Wait. How often do you go on business trips from your company? Well, I sometimes go on business trips. What about you? To be honest, next Tuesday I'm going to I'm going on one and I'm nervous. Relax. If you have everything organized, there's there's not going to be any problem. All right, one more time. Remember that they are talking about business trips, right? Hello, Manuel. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Natalia. Sure, ask me. How often do you go on business trips from your company? Well, I sometimes go on business trips. What about you? To be honest, next Tuesday, I'm going 
one and I'm nervous. Relax. If you have everything organized, there's not going to be any problem. There is not going to be any problem. Okay. Take a look at the conversation and we are going to practice this in a little while. Okay. Take a look, practice, try to ask the questions, try to practice on your own because most likely we're going to choose a couple of you to say the conversation. Okay. If you have any problems or any doubts and any difficulty you might find, please let us know. We practice the conversation. It's practice. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, Miss, I have a question. Yes. We have to practice. To practice. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Thanks. Practice. Right. Okay. Bye. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Natalia. Sure, ask me. Okay. okay. Si quiere... Eh, uh, Manuel Manuel. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm, hello, Manuel. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Natalia. Sure. Ask me. How often to how often do you go on business trip from your company? Well, I sometimes go on business trips. What about you? To be honest, next Thursday, Tuesday, I am going on one um nervous. We <laughs> <laughs> Relax. If you have everything organized, organized, uh, there is not going to be problems. Okay. To be
Hello, Manuel. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Natalia. Sure, ask me. How often do you go on business trip from your company? Well, and sometimes go, go on the business trip. How, what about you? To be honest, next Wednesday I am going on one and I am nervous. Relax. If you have everything organized, there is not going to be any problems. Okay. Oh, yo comienzo. Mm -hmm. Hello, Manuel. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Natalia. Sure, ask me. How often do you go on business trips for your company? Well, I um, sometimes go on, on business trips. What about you? To be honest, next Thursday I am going on one. Um, I am nervous. Relax. If you have everything organized, there is not going to Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, did you practice? Yes. 
great. Volunteers. Okay, volunteers to say the conversation again. Ricardo. No sé con quién ahí. <laughs> con la compañera ahí, gracias. Con ella All right. Ahí. Okay, let's do it with David because David raised his hand. Yes. All right, Ricardo, you start and David answer. You can say hi, Ricardo. No, hi, Natalia. I mean, hi, Manuel, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, David. Can I ask you? A question. Hi, Ricardo. Sure, ask me. How often do you go on business trip from your company? Well, I sometimes go on business trips. What about you? To be honest, next Thursday I am going on one and I am nervous. Relax. If you have everything organized, there is not going to be any problems. Organize, right? Organize. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. what if I am going on one? On one business trip. <laughs> oh, okay. On a business trip, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else? No? Elvin, another volunteer. Mm -hmm. Somebody else to practice with Elvin? Nelson. All right. Elvin, you start. You say hi, Nelson. And Nelson answers. Okay. Hello, Nelson. Can I ask you a question? Hi, Elvin. Sure, ask me. How often do you go on bus and trees from your company? Well, I something go on business trip. What about you? To the Hans Hans next Thursday, Thursday, I am going on one and I am nervous. Relax. If you have everything organized, there is not going to be any problems. Yeah. Good. Okay, any question about this conversation? No? Great. Yes, Nelson. All right. Siempre queda la mano. Siempre queda la mano. <laughs> yes, no problem. I just lower your hand. No problem. Okay, check the, the vocabulary and try to match the photos with the vocabulary. We have reservation, travel agency, amenities, shuttle service, business trip. And we have A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E. All right. Business trip, letter A, letter B, pardon. <laughs> okay, business trip is letter B. We have in this order, actually. Preservation is letter C because of this order. Mm -hmm. Travel agent. Travel e. Letter E. Yes, E. Mm -hmm. Travel agents. Amenities. Amenities. Letter E. 
letter A. Amenities is like different uh, services that the hotel offers. Gym, pool, conference room, right? Shuttle, shuttle service. Letter D. That's letter D, exactly. And business trip, yes. Ricardo says it's letter B. Right. All right. <clears throat> well, this vocabulary has to do with um business trips. Remember the if you go on a trip, obviously, to another country, you will have to stay at a hotel. So you make a reservation. You usually ask of the different amenities that the hotel offers. You also might need some transportation service from the airport to the hotel and from the hotel to the airport. So that is also um, usually called shuttle, shuttle bus or shuttle service. All right, we're going to practice this conversation, request information about ser travel services and accommodations related to a business trip. So we're gonna role play the conversation between the travel agent and Rosa, say if the statements are true or false, and finally complete the checklist of things that you will need for the business trip. Here's the conversation between the agent the agent is the person that works at the travel agency, right? Okay. Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Well, let me show you from the manual what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Did you find it? So it says request information about travel services and accommodations related to business trip. Do you usually go on a trip on business trips? What are three hotel services? Wake up call, business center, laundry. How often do you use those amenities from the hotel? Okay, once again. More stroll agency, how can I help you? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Rosa Puente. Thank you, Mrs. Puente. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, take a look at the conversation, try to practice it, and then we're going to practice with somebody in a breakout room, all right?
Miss o Mrs. Mrs. Puentes. Creo que es Mrs. Miss Puentes. Uh -huh. eh, Miss, I have a question. Eh, is Miss Puentes, vea? Oh. Yes, Miss Puentes. Miss, Miss. Thanks. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non smoking room? Non smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay. Cambiamos. Sí. Sí. Marks, travel agency, how, I can, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss. Puentes, how long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay. Solo nosotras estamos, pero. Sí, nosotros estamos bien. Hello, good evening. Hello, Ivan. Hello, practicamos. Yeah. Okay. More travel agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for single rooms. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I am, I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in... A uh, smoking or no smoking room? No uh, smoking, please. Are you going to need the shoulder service? Yes, please. Okay. Cambiamos. Dele. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for... Uh, Single room, I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 10, 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. How, how long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. 
Are you going to start in a smoking or not a smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the surely service? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Marcus Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation. All right, the first group was Natalia, Deborah, Ivan, Laura, and Elvin. Two, the represent the first group, please. Okay, Ivan and Deborah. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. 
Okay. Travel, uh, Mars Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? First, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puente. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? Non smoking, please. Are you going to need to shortly service? Yes, please. Thanks. Very good. Excellent. From group two, we got Maria, Ana Cristina, David, Brian, and Ricardo. Two volunteers from the second group. We got. Okay, Ricardo. Okay. And Can another person. Who? No. No sé, ahí sí, David puede participar. O Brian. Okay. David o Brian. Ricardo los ha seleccionado. No answer, Ricardo. <laughs> no. Pues no sé, alguien más ahí si quiere participar. Somebody. Cristina, probably. Oh, Nelson. Nelson, Nelson is going to help you. Eso. Yes. Action. Okay, empiezo yo, Nelson. Yes. <laughs> but my travel agency how can i help you good morning i need a reservation for a single room i want to travel to costa rica on april 14. sure may i have your name please of course i am nelson perez thank you miss mr perez <laughs> how long are you going to stay <laughs> I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Very good. Shuttle service. Yes, please. Yes. All right. From the group number three, we got Joanna, Jocelyn, Imelda, and Wilmer. Two volunteers. From the group number three. Mm -hmm. Joanna, Jocelyn, Imelda, and Whitmer. Nadie del grupo número 3. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really? Well, from group number 4, ya participó en el answer. Solo nos queda... Hector, Miguel Ángel, and Gracia. So I think it's going to be Gracia and Miguel Ángel, right? Y Wendy. Really? Wendy estaba conmigo. Oh, bueno, yes. Wendy true, 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 true. Sí. So, Wendy and Gracia. Okay. 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 Like, no no sé quién quiere ser usted, Wendy. Soy Ayer. Bye. Okay, lights, cameras, action. Mark Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? 
Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Of course. Thanks. Very good. All right. <clears throat> there are, well, there is this actually, there are a little exercise where you have to say if the, if the statements are true or false. And then you have this about vocabulary explanations as accommodation, a place such as a room in a hotel where travelers can sleep and find other services, amenities. The features of the hotel that are available for guests to use, example, gym, a pool, a bini bar, a jacuzzi, etc. Okay. Bueno, de un ratito por aquí hagan este exercise. If you want, you can discuss with your partners. It's okay.
finish. Yes. 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 All right. Perfect. Okay. Give me one second, please. I'm going to. Okay. <clears throat> Where is Rosa calling? She's calling to the bank. She's calling to the pharmacy. Where is Rosa calling? Travel agency. She's calling to the travel agency. Okay. Why? Why is she calling to the travel agency? Because she needs hotel reservation. She needs and to chapter. make... Uh -huh. She needs to make a hotel reservation for three, three days. For a single room, she's going to stay for in a single room for three she's days. Going, in. She's going to travel to Costa Rica. She's Costa Rica. going to travel to Costa Rica. When? What? When? When, exactly. April 14th. On April 14th. That's April 14th. right. Mm hmm Nice. All right. Is she going to need any other service? Mm, yes. What other service to request? In the conversation, no lo dice, teacher, in specific, but at the end, she says, the consultant is going to need a service. She says, yes, please. Yes, I imagine it's like a mode of transport, right? Exactly. It's a transportation from the airport o de donde maneje el, el transporte en el que va a llegar hasta el hotel y viceversa. Ok. That's the shuttle. Shuttle service. Shuttle, shuttle bus. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. Rosa needs a double room. That's true or false? False. It's single. She needs a single room. Exactly. Rosa is going to stay for three days. True. True. She's going to stay for three days. Rosa is going to stay in a smoking room. Well. She's going to stay in a non-smoking room. Rosa is going to rent a car at the airport. True. Is going to rent a car at the airport. False. False. She is False. going to use the transportation service from the hotel, yeah. right? Going to use the shuttle. All right. Okay, hotel service and amenities. Piensen cuál. Es cada uno de estos. Shuttle service, single room, wake up call, Wi-Fi internet, business center, bridge in the room, safe laundry service. Hagan el match o pueden poner así como number one es tal cosa, number two tal cosa. Y luego lo vamos a comparar. ¿Ok?
¿Cuál? El business center. El business center creería que es el number four o será el one. Wake up call es la número uno. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, pero el business center tiene que ser el cuatro. Y el fry in the room es el número tres, el refrigerador. Ajá, bus is, eh, center, cabal, es la cuatro. Ajá, uh -huh, la cuatro. Ah, pues ya estamos. Va, el primero es la siete. El single room, la seis. El wake up call, la uno. Tell me. La que está, la que la número cinco, no entiendo qué es. Un salón. Ok. Number five. Ah, es? no, es una caja fuerte. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces cambió la respuesta aquí. <risa> Thanks. Finish. All right. I think everybody's is back at this session. All right. Let me share the screen. What is number one? Picture number one. Uh -huh. The number seven. Okay. If I if I ask you for picture number one, what is it? Ah, wake up. Wake up. Wake call. Up. Wake up call. Wake up call. Sure. Laundry. Yes. <laughs> number two. Laundry. Laundry service. Mm, yeah. Service. 
All right, number three. Rabbit in, in, in the room. Fridge. Fridge in the room. Like refrigerator. Fridge in the room. Like a mini, mini fridge. Okay, number four. Mm. Boosting centers. Is Business center? center? Yeah. yeah. Business center. All yeah. right. Number five. Say. Eight. Number six. Single room. A single room. Number seven. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. And the last one. Wi-Fi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> everybody knows that. All right. Good, good, good. Very good. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Write a list about the type of services and amenities that you need for your next trip. ¿Qué cosas necesitarían para su next trip? Y luego le van a pedir las listas de sus compañeros. So imagine, let's be optimistic that you're going to go on a business trip and what services are you going to need? For sure you're going to need. Obviamente se tiene que auxiliar del vocabulario de la de la lámina anterior y en su en su manual del ejercicio anterior, ¿verdad? ¿Qué services do you think you need? A single room, a fridge in the room, a safe, a shuttle, right? So complete the list and then you're going to compare your list. You van a escribir la lista de dos compañeros más. According to the manual, ¿verdad? En un mundo ideal. Lola. Hola, Ricardo. Hola, compañera. ¿Cómo le va? Bien. Bueno, lista para su listado. Valga la redundancia. Lista para mi listado. Bueno, era un listado de las cosas que creemos que son necesarias, ¿verdad? Para un viaje. De... Ajá. Un viaje, pero no sé si es viaje de negocio. Yo creo que es un viaje normal. Pero, ajá, podemos poner como, no sé, tantas no. cosas que son necesarias. Ah, sí. Pero son Una tipos de... Vaya, bueno, vamos a ver. En mi caso, lo del... Lo del Wi-Fi es indiscutible. 
Exacto, wifi, internet. Wifi. Sí. Wi-Fi, este, vamos a ver de la imagen de la vez pasada. Eh, la habitación, igual. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, room. Bueno, single room. En mi caso sería single room. Uh -huh. Single room. También otra cosa que creo yo que es necesaria. y compartiéramos las que nosotros eh, considerábamos. Vale. En este caso, yo ya les dije las mías, ahora le tocan a ustedes decir las de ustedes. Uh -huh. Las mías serían seis. Uh -huh. Wi-Fi Internet. Right in the room. Uh -huh. Wake up call. Laundry service. Y chorro service que fue.
Okay. I think everybody is back. Now, let's continue then. Okay, possible services could be single room, double room, bridge in the room, shuttle service, Wi-Fi, connection. What others? Okay, <clears throat> we're going to study by going to. Be going to. Esto creo que es una estructura que es muy similar a español. Obviamente decimos voy a ir, voy a estudiar, voy a comer. Entonces lo mismo en inglés. I'm going to. I'm going to study. I'm going to work. I'm going to play. I'm going to travel. But lo único que tenemos que tener muchísimo cuidado es con la conjugación. Siempre debe llevar la conjugación del verb to be antes de decir el going to. Por ejemplo, si yo estoy hablando de, de mí misma, pues es, I am going to. Pero si estoy hablando de otra persona, like Sandy is going to. Or they are going to. My parents, my friends are going to. Okay, so we use be going to to talk about the future. Obviamente es para hablar de situaciones en el futuro, pero no en un futuro de aquí a tres siglos, ¿verdad? Sino que un futuro bastante cercano, que ya tengamos planificado prácticamente, o que ya tengamos algún plan. ¿Ok? So, they are going to take a boat down the James River next week. Hablando de máximo una semana, dos semanas, tal vez. I am going to try local Chinese food tomorrow. All right. So to form the future with be going to, use am, is, or are, plus going to, plus the base form of the verb. I am going to study Chinese. Y esa es la estructura. El sujeto, el verbo to be, la conjugación correcta, ¿verdad? No es que para todos es am, no para todos es is, es dependiendo del sujeto. Going to, esto sí no cambia, y luego el verbo. En base form, sin agregarle s, ni ing, nada. I am going to study Chinese, Sandy is going to visit museums, and they are going to travel to Beijing. So these are just examples of the use of be going to. So here we have some examples as well. For vacation plans, look at the chart. You speak going to plus the base form of the word to, practice, to describe your vacation plans of the people below. For example, Mr. Jung is going to watch a parade. It is a future plan, watch a parade. So Mr. John is going to watch a parade. Mrs. Jones is going to Take photograph. Mr. and Mrs. Jones are going to see famous places. What about you? I am going to. ¿Qué van a hacer en esta vacación? What are your future plans for this vacation? I am going to sleep. I am going to rest. I am going to visit my parents. I am going to stay home. I am going to see the parades. Oh, we have many plans. We are going to have a great time. What are you going to do in China? So these are some of the examples, okay? Bueno, les comparto para mejor referencia de este el manual. Right. Make a hotel reservation and request related services. Do you prefer to stay in a modern or antique hotels? When you travel, do you usually make the hotel reservations or someone else does it for you? Esto es algo que vamos a discutir en un momento. Listen to the teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Hello, 
Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jin. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, one more time. I'm going to read it. Pay lots of attention because later on you're going to read it as well. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. All right. Take a look, try to read it, try to understand what they're saying, and then we are going to practice, okay? A couple of minutes.
Thomas going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday for tea. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, volunteers. Volunteers to read the conversation. Okay, Ricardo. Thank you. And Miguel, right. Ricardo, you can start. Okay. Hello. 
Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Ricardo. How can I help you? Hello, I need um, to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Miguel Ramirez. Thank you, Mr. Miguel. Mr. Ramirez, when are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 4th. 14th. 14th, uh -huh. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Ramirez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Double. Thank you. No problem. Any questions? Yes. Mm, no, creo que no, teacher. No questions. Okay, good. No, okay, so you see here. Uh, here they have used going to. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us? I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going to stay three days. I'm going to stay for four days. Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? All right. Vamos a compartir, voy a ir a mirar. Voy a compartir un pequeño quiz. Sí. Uh -huh. All right, tell me. Is all right. The complete sentence. A cat is going to drink milk. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. You and my friend go are going to write a letter. Yes. Mm -hmm. A father are going to repair a car. Is I see. Yes. All right. Is 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 también are and I right are going to visit our class. Okay. Uh, you are you are going to come home early. My friends are going friends to are dance. going to dance. All right. I am going to be a famous actor. Yes, I'm going to be a famous actor. Are. You and Anne are going to drive a car. That's right. Mm -hmm. Dogs are going to sleep in the yard. That's right. Dogs are going to sleep in the yard. He's going to watch TV. He's going to watch TV. Is. My brother is. is going to play football. Anne and I are 
are going to swim in the river. Mm -hmm. Pupils. What is? <laughs> Pupils is like students. Oh, they are. Are going to do homework. Or are you going to visit the relatives? Or are you going to fly the kite? The mm -hmm. dog is going to eat. It's going to read a book. Mm -hmm. uh, or, um, Are you going to draw pictures? Are uh, Are going to take photos? Or um, parents um, are going to walk in the park. He's, he's going to. She's going to celebrate her birthday. A sister is is going to play the guitar. Yes. Art. Yes. Are going uh, to catch mice? Or are you and Kate are going to arrange a party? I am. I am. My mom are, and I. Are. No. Are. 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 We are. We are. We are going to ride bikes. I'm a ride bike. <laughs> Father uh, and mother uh, are going to date uh, today. Uh, they going to listen to music. Uh, they are. They are going to listen to music. Perfect. Yeah, we Perfect did it. Score. Yes, I see. Wait, wait, wait. All right, so alguna duda cuando they're going to? Any no. doubts? Any question? Clear like or chat. All right. I'm going to. I think this is a very common structure people use in English when they communicate their ideas, when they want to introduce something, when they want to explain what they're going to do. For a better reference, aquí tienen la explicación. This is the explanation for this uh, grammatical structure. It's very simple. You just have to focus on whether the sentence is affirmative or negative or if it's a question. Yes. Affirmative, pues respetar subject, verb to be, going to, and the verb in base form plus the complement. Si es negative, ahí sí, después de el verb to be, le agregamos el not. So, Miss Fuente is not going to fly to Cuba, right? Or I am not going to see my friends tomorrow. Or she is not going to work tomorrow, right? And si es una yes no question, ahí pasamos el verbi al inicio antes del subject are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room is she going to work in the same office are they going to come to celebrate so if it is information question pues le agregamos lo que queremos preguntar when how long why who who is she going to see tomorrow when are you going to travel to usa right so, entonces, este cuadro explica perfectamente. 
But it's the same when you use going to go. Going to go. Uh -huh. Obviously, in this occasion, go is the main verb. Going to is the auxiliary for future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the USA. I'm going to stay in a hotel. I'm going to visit my family, right? Okay. So I say this again, affirmative, negative, yes, no question, information, question. All of them with the going to, okay? Igual, mañana vamos a continuar practicando. We are going to continue practicing. Don't worry. Vamos a tomar attendance for the second and last time during this evening. Let me see. Me faltan algunos que no han hecho la unit 3. Should I say names? No. De sonra. <clears throat> unit 3, unit 3. Recuérdense que si no, le va a tocar double, triple this week porque tienen que hacer. Three, four, and the final exam. So, corran esta noche. Run, like forest. Okay, Ana Cristina. Brian. Here. David. Present teacher. Debra. Present teacher. Doris. Elvin, Gracia, Hector, sorry, present, present, Imelda, Imelda, Ivan, Ivan. Present, present, Hi. present, present, teacher. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Se me perdió Jocelyn. Okay. Wait a minute. Laura. Maria Irma. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Nelson. Good night, teacher. Good night. Paula, Ricardo, present teacher, present teacher, good night, good night, Wendy, present teacher, good night, okay, and Wilbur, present teacher, good night, good night, well, continue working on the platform if you haven't finished, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Night.